Hello guys, this is Rich or Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's a brand new day again and we are again for our devotional and uh, hoping na uh, ready tayo palagi, no? As we meet every 7 o'clock in the morning for our devotional. Okay guys, let's start, no? Uh, let's open our Bible to Psalms 119 verses 33 to 48. Psalms 119 verses 33 to 48. Medyo mahaba-haba to, no? Okay, the I'm reading from the devotional study Bible as I said no because I'm using this because the words in this Bible are so simplified no okay Psalm 119 verses 33 to 48 say, says teach me O Lord to follow your decrees then I will keep them to the end give me understanding and I will keep your law and obey it with all my heart direct me in the path of your commands for there I find delight Turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Fulfill your promise to your servant so that you may be feared. Take away the disgrace I dread, for your laws are good. How I long for your precepts. Preserve my life in your righteousness. May your unfailing love come to me, O Lord. Your salvation according to your promise. Then I will answer the one who taunts me, for I trust in your word. Do not touch the word of truth from my mouth, for I have put my hope in your laws. I will always obey your law forever and ever. I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. I will speak of your statutes before the king and will not be put to shame, for I delight in your command because I love them. I lift up my hands to your command which I love and I meditate on your decrees. Amen and amen. So guys, let's pray. Father God, we just uh, read, Lord God, a uh, wonderful verses na pwede namin, ano, Lord God, ma, uh, pwede namin makuha na ng mga matutunan namin, Lord God, na we can carry on for this whole day and even for the rest of our life. Lead us, O God, even as we have uh, this meditation, it will bless us, O Lord. Bless those who, who watch of this, O God, till the end, O God. Uh, they also may feel that uh, the word is really important, not only to me, but to everybody, especially that uh, we are now on the last days. Lord, thank you that you're going to lead us. We open up our hearts, minds, body, and spirit unto you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, our uh, focus verse for today is found in Psalms 119 verse 35 and it says, Direct me in your path of your commands, for there I find delight. Amen and amen. No? Okay guys, I'm still reading the uh, Delivery Devotional book for our devotional and the title of uh, our meditation for today is Free from Frostbite. Wow, sakit to, no? Okay, on a winter day, my children beg to go sledding. The temperature hovered near zero degrees Fahrenheit. Snowflakes raised by our windows. I thought it over and said yes, but asked them to bundle up. They stay together and come inside after 15 minutes. Out of love, I created those rules to my children could so my children could play freely without suffering frostbite. I think the author of Psalms 119 recognized the same good intent in God as he penned two consecutive verses that might seem contradictory. I will always obey your laws and I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. How is it? that the psalmist associated freedom with a spiritually low abiding life. 
Following God's wise instruction allow us to escape the consequences that come from choices we later wish we could undo. Without the weight of guilt or pain, we are freer to enjoy our life. God doesn't want to control us with those and don'ts, and rather, His guidelines show that He loves us. While my kids were sleeping, I watched them blast down the hill. I smiled at the sound of their laughter and the sight of their pink cheeks. They were free within the boundaries I'd given them. This compelling paradox is present in our relationship with God. It leads us to say with the psalmist, Direct me in your path of your commands, for there I find delight. Amen. No. So, important it talaga guys na we have to direct, no? Na the Lord would direct us sa mga an, uh, uh, gagawin natin. Kasi, uh, piling ko kung ako, no? If I'm not going to have my devotional, no? Like sa ginagawa natin to, I found out na yung mga gawain ko for the whole day would not be not be good, sometimes palpak, no, it's not productive. Sometimes uh, I feel so tired doing it because hindi natin na commit talaga kay Lord, no. But I praise God na simula nagsimula yung pandemic, no. Uh, I, God really convicted me to have this, no, uh, to have this devotional, and I and I really prayed. Sabi ko Lord, what would ano? Uh, what would uh, I do, no? So the Lord just lead me na to have this devotional. So, hindi sa akin to, guys, naghingila ako ng desire kay Lord, but yet, God gave me to have this devotion. Although, uh, as I noticed, pakunti na pakunti yung, ano, yung tumitingin dito, but I know God is there watching me, no? So, uh, we are free to do things, but we need to be very careful kung ano yung mga ginagawa natin, no? Kasi, if nobody is watching us really, we are really prone to temptation. We are prone to to do sin. That's why, ang psalmist, uh, no, asked, no, sabi niya, direct me in your path, in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. Sana guys, ganito tayo, no, para magiging productive talaga tayo, no. This be this training at this time, especially na yung mga nangyayari ngayon, maraming nag increase yung cases, ang dami nang namamatay. Dito lang nga sa amin, no, may isa na namang namatay, no, I do not know kung ano yung cause, but uh, uh, basta, yun na yun, may namatay talaga, no. That's why we need to be very careful. Kung pwede nga lang, let's ano, use the opportunity of staying home to spend time with God, to do meditation, ganyan, to do prayer, no, Inter interceding with other people, so yun. No, rather than just doing nothing at home, no, we can still do things productively, even if we are inside our home. No, okay. So, yun guys, no, free from frostbite. Dapat malayo din tayo sa maganyan. No? I experienced this thing when I was in ano in uh, Amsterdam, kasi na experience ko yung ano no, yung negative eleven na temperature. Sakit talaga, sakit talaga, no. Oh, yung ano mo yung 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 eyes na didikit sa ano mo sa skin mo masakit talaga no kaya yung skin ko when i was there nag crack crack talaga that's why yung isang 1 liter na lotion maubos ko lang yan ng ng 1 week kasi kailangan ko lagi maglagay ng lotion no in order for me not to suffer from frostbite no okay so guys let's pray <clears throat> dear god give us love for your ways, like the psalmist have. We want to worship you with the choices we make every day. Amen and amen. So guys, obedience flows freely from a heart of love. So guys, we have that uh, obedient heart. No? Sa sinabi ni God. Because the lady of obedience is still disobedience. No? Okay guys, sana may tuturunan tayo no? for this day na madala natin for as we go on with the task uh, uh, na binigay sa atin na magiging productive tayo. No? Okay guys, this is Rich of Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam! <music>